right, hello, wine-drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 9th of September, and uh, rolling through a steamy summer here in South Florida. We've got a lot of great tastings coming up this week and next week and, you know, pretty much the rest of the month of September and October. A lot of great wine-drinking going on here at the Wine Watch, and, well, we've got several other venues now we're working with. Of course, our friends at Cafe Max every other Wednesday night, and then we've got uh, a lot of once-in-a-lifetime events coming up, man. We've got a Vintage Rome tasting uh, Friday, which... Uh, some incredible wines, all three of the Lala, Chave Hermitage, Javelet La Chapelle, some incredible juice. And we got a vintage Bordeaux, Bordeaux tasting the week after that. We got our California cult tasting coming up. And we just added this pride tasting onto the schedule on October. October 3rd, so just a few weeks away. And uh, we've got so much older pride in the store, we figured, man, we should do a pride tasting. Why not? I looked at, through the inventory the other day just to see uh, some stuff that I'm looking forward to drinking someday and these prides from the last decade. Some of the top scoring wines that this winery has produced. And this started by Jim and Carolyn Pride. They bought 170 acres up in the Mayakemos Mountains, uh, just uh, way up on top there of Spring Mountain. Uh, the closest town is St. Helena here. And these guys are right on the dividing line between Napa and Sonoma. So their wines are labeled Napa and Sonoma. They now have got over 80 acres planted up there. And, you know, the winery, when it started in the early 90s, they used to make their wine at Chapelet Winery. And uh, kind of a long ways away from where their vineyards are. But uh, they finished their own winery as of the 1997 harvest. And they can produce about 25,000 cases. Usually they're having right around 20,000. Their biggest production wines are their Cabernet and their Merlot. But they make some of the highest rated wines in California, according to the Wine Spectator. And Robert Parker's Wine Advocate, several of their wines have scored about 100 points, 99 points on several occasions, 98 points. We're going to be drinking a few of these on the 8th, the 2003 Reserve, which got elevated to 99 points as of Robert Parker's last review. And hey, you can't drink points, but you are going to pay for them. These winery-only wines, Pride only sells its reserve wines on the mailing list, the red label, very hard to come by, very limited in production, just 1,000 or just under 500 cases of the Claret, and even smaller than the Reserve Cab. So these wines, very limited. And, uh, well, like I said, because of the price, the wines very highly sought after. Hey, we've got the 2011s, the current release on this offer also. And for them, you know, these guys were very high up, 2,100 feet. You know, most of the problems in 2011 were lower, uh, the valley floor. And uh, these guys fared better than most people did in 2011, always producing outstanding wines. Hey, the great Robert Foley was here for years, and uh, he was at Markham, very well known for his Merlot there. He got these guys on the board as one of the top Merlot producers in the 80s and 90s, and he said after 16 years of making wine, when he came to Pride to consult for them, he said, this is the greatest vineyard site I've ever seen uh, in Napa Valley, Napa and Sonoma, technically. So he was very excited to work, uh, be brought on as a consultant, and he's no longer there. Jim Pride passed away in 2004. The only thing that's certain in life has changed. Steve Pride is now in charge, and they've got Sally Johnson as a winemaker. She's been there since 2007, and really... The, the style of these wines have not changed. These are big, bold California Cabernets. I'd say Napa Valley, but it's Napa and Sonoma. But uh, really wonderful concentration, richness in these wines. And these wines we've got on this offer, 10 to 15 years old now. Some of these older wines are drinking at their peak years. And hey, that's why I said, you know, while I was putting this offer together, I said, screw selling all these wines. We're going to drink a bunch of them. So check it out. Everything that we're going to be drinking here, 10 different older vintages of Pride all the current releases available, and uh, everything else we've got in the store, our huge collection of pride, reserves, and clarets. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.